Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to kick off the higher physics electricity topic by looking at AC versus DC, i.e. alternating current versus direct current. So let's get started. Now the theory we're about to look at on AC versus DC is stuff that you should have seen in National 5 Physics. We start with a definition of direct current, also known as DC, and this is when the current flows in only one direction at all times. For example, a battery is a DC supply. And the circuit symbol for a DC supply looks like this, where you've got two little circles separated by some space, and one of them is a positive terminal and one of them is a negative terminal. You could, however, also see a DC supply drawn as a battery, because remember we said a battery is an example of a DC supply. So you might see a bigger line for the positive terminal and a smaller line for the negative terminal. Alternating current, on the other hand, also known as AC, is when the current changes direction every fraction of a second. For example, the UK mains is an AC supply. So every time you plug a device into the wall, that is the mains, so you're using alternating current. And the circuit symbol for an AC supply it looks like this where you've got two little circles again separated by some space, but within the space this time we've got a little wave pattern. You might also see an AC supply drawn like this with a circle surrounding the little wave pattern in the middle. And what do DC and AC signals look like on an oscilloscope display? Well, if we look at DC first of all, a DC supply appears as a straight line on an oscilloscope display. This shows that the output voltage is constant. So if you have a look here, you can see we've got a non-zero value of voltage, and it's a straight line on the oscilloscope display. An AC supply, however, appears as a wave on an oscilloscope display, and this shows that the output voltage varies with time. So you can see here that we've got a voltage that is changing over time, and that's because the current is changing over time, from the definition of alternating current. For the wave pattern of the AC signal, we can label some new terms. So it says that in an AC supply, the maximum voltage is called the peak voltage. So if we look at a picture of that wave pattern again, this top point of the wave we call the peak voltage. And we also have something called the declared value of the voltage, and that is about 70% of the peak voltage. So this line here cutting through at about 70% of the peak voltage, that is the declared value of the voltage. And you might also remember from National 5 Physics that in the UK the mains has a declared value of 230 volts. We'll see in another video that the declared value is also known as the RMS value, the root mean square value of the voltage. And because the AC signal is a wave, we can say that an AC supply also has a frequency, which is the number of times the current changes direction in one second. For example, we say the UK mains has a frequency of 50 Hz, meaning the current changes direction 50 times each second. And just to summarise the oscilloscope traces, let's say we set up a circuit with a battery, a switch and a resistor, and we had wires connecting those, and then we had wires connecting this circuit to an oscilloscope. Then if we start with a DC supply and we close the switch, you can see we get a non-zero value of the voltage there, and it shows a straight line on the oscilloscope screen. However, if I open the switch and replace the DC supply with an AC supply this time, then if I close the switch, you'll see I get a wave pattern on the oscilloscope screen. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.